Hello, and it's good to be sharing with you again. And hopefully this time I can produce a, a video that doesn't stick. Over the last couple of days, I have been thinking about treasure. This is because with some time on my hands, I have been sorting through stuff here at home. Cupboards that I haven't looked in since we moved here. And I have been discovering all sorts of treasure. Some of which I've forgotten I got, some that I just didn't know where it was, and some that I was beginning to think I had lost. One of these was a jewellery box, which I discovered hidden away within another box. There's not much of monetary value in here, but some things which I do have sentimental value, and which it's a joy to find again. In normal times, one of my weekly joys is going to Tesco's. May not be everybody's cup of tea, but it is one of my happy places. And I went there yesterday for my weekly shop. And it was the first time I had been since the new measures were introduced to make sure, which makes sure that we can all keep our distance from each other. I didn't mind the queuing up to get into the shop or keeping at least two metres distant from each other, it was quite pleasant to be standing out in the sunshine. But when I eventually got inside, I found it quite emotional that it was so different from normal, that there was none of the, the usual banter and people meeting up and having a chat. I was sharing with the woman on customer services about how it was making me feel emotional and she shared with me about how these new restrictions meant that she couldn't see her newborn grandchild. And what particularly hurt was that she wasn't able to bond with the child. As yet, the child didn't know her and um, didn't yet recognise her voice. That reminded me of when our daughter Susanna was in the special care baby unit, having been born six weeks early. Here was this tiny little baby who I couldn't look after and couldn't easily pick up and cuddle. I remember asking the nurse, how will she know that I love her? And I also remember the nurse's calm, reassuring response, she will. In these strange new times, we're having to find different ways of making sure that others know that we love them, that we care, that we're thinking of them, that they matter to us. On Thursday evening, as a nation, we discovered a new way of showing love when we stood on our doorsteps or opened our windows and applauded the NHS. Beforehand, it felt a very un-British thing to be doing, but actually doing it felt very right and appropriate. And I'm sure all of us taking part benefited from it and the NHS felt the love. New ways of showing love. These include phoning people much more often than we normally would, especially those who are on their own and who struggle with the lack of company. Those who we know will be anxious, those who will be missing family, those who might not have anyone else to phone them, and those who might, for whatever reason, find it difficult to pick up the phone themselves. Another word I have been pondering is generous, that call to be generous. Let us, in these strange and challenging times, be generous with our love. Reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And now faith, hope and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Let us pray. God of love, thank you that you never stop loving us. Thank you that you are with us in every situation 
and circumstance. Thank you that you are love and that you show us how to love. Help us be generous in our loving. Help us to care. In these strange and uncertain times, help us to discover and to embrace new ways of showing our love. Open our eyes to see where love is needed and encourage us to respond. Help us each to know how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.